Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, welcome to the Kingdom of Bahrain. I'm delighted to be part of the 18th Manama Dialogue. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Dr. John Chipman and the IISS team for organizing the dialogue. Our strong relationship with the IISS spans over two decades. I can hardly believe this. The Manama Dialogue is the region's leading security forum. A warm welcome to President Ursula von der Leyen, to the Kingdom of Bahrain. We are honored to have you with us today. Each year, the Manama Dialogue puts forward a thought-provoking agenda, and this year is no different. The agenda is filled with issues that need to be addressed, if not solved. His Majesty the King reiterates his call for peace and coexistence. I would like to use this podium to reiterate His Majesty's call during the historical visit of His Holiness Pope Francis to the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Kingdom of Bahrain consistently emphasizes the importance of international partnership based on diplomatic dialogue and peaceful means as the starting point to end wars and conflicts and pursues the path for, for, of fraternity, understanding, respect for sovereignty of states, good neighborliness, and non-interference in internal affairs. In this context, we call on major world power to maintain international peace and security, and in particular, to end the Russian-Ukrainian war and to begin serious negotiations between the two parties. The Kingdom of Bahrain, will not hesitate to play any role required in this regard. And today, I bring with me His Majesty's spirit of this message and would like to echo its sentiment. The Kingdom of Bahrain stands ready to do its part to promote peace and coexistence. Bahrain is ready to be the meeting ground and a friend to all. So I would like to end on that note and give the floor to Dr. Chipman, and thank you very much.